Live. In the meantime, members of the local Muslim community are responding with disappointment to a decision by the Montgomery County Board of Education after leaders asked to have major holidays of their faith added to the school calendar. The board instead decided to strike all religious terminology from school calendars. Now, that includes any references to major Christian and Jewish holidays. Joining us now to talk more about it is Zainab Chaudhry. She is the CARE Maryland Outreach Manager. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you for having me. So tell me, you, you were one of many um, to testify before the uh, Board of Ed last month urging Montgomery County to include words, terminology, uh, representing high days or holidays or holy days within um, Islam. Tell me about your plea back in October. So that was actually part of a greater campaign that we've launched in Montgomery County, which is the Equality for Eve campaign, which is a campaign that was formed under the Council on American Islamic Relations. And the purpose of this campaign was to shed highlight on the plight of the Muslim community in Montgomery County, who has been struggling for over a decade to have the religious holidays of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha be added to the Montgomery County public school calendar. Um, so we, there is a significantly large population of Muslims who resides in Montgomery County. And so we've been trying to work with the Board of Education to raise awareness of why it's important for the Muslim community to have these holidays be added to the calendar. Um, and when we testified uh, at the hearings, we were trying to make the case for why it's important for Muslim students to be not marked absent, for them to be able to spend the holiday with their family without being penalized. As it say last year, um, Zainab, when you when a Muslim student wasn't there for um, for a religious holiday, was it marked it excused absence? Is that what was it before? So it is an excused absence, but it's an absence nonetheless. So not only do children, students get marked absent, not only does it ruin their perfect perfect attendance, mm -hmm. but they also miss classroom instruction. They miss time. Um, they they miss time from school. They uh, miss out on exams and tests and when students come back the next day it's, it's sometimes a struggle for them to catch up. I remember myself being born and raised in Maryland growing up it was always a struggle every eve trying to determine whether I was going to go to school or whether I was going to stay home and celebrate with my family um, and my parents were very adamant that you know we could not miss time from school. So, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's so now all religious uh, terminology, if you will, the Christmas, Easter, Yom Kippur, what have you, has been striked from the calendar moving forward. What's your response to this? We were very disappointed. Uh, this is not something that we were asking for. Uh, we don't think that it's fair for any other faith groups to be punished uh, in our quest to seek equality for Muslim students in Montgomery County. Um, and it was a shock. We weren't expecting this decision at all. I know that one of the alternatives or one of the options that Dr. Starr, the superintendent, Dr. Joshua Starr, had proposed was to have the date September 23rd, 2015, be uh, not designated as Yom Kippur or Eid al Adha. But we had no idea that they were going to strike uh, all of the religious holidays or re references to the re religious holidays from the calendar. The backlash that is going on now against the school board or what have you, is there any fear that? that that will come and trickle over to the Muslim community because Christmas isn't on the calendar. Absolutely. That's definitely a concern that Muslims in Montgomery County specifically, but even beyond um, that we, we're worried about, that there's, some, there's a sentiment that maybe, you know, Muslims are responsible for the fact that the religious references to the Christian and Jewish holidays have been removed. And one of the things that we've been doing is raising awareness that this is not a decision that we had any part in, in making this is something entirely that the Board of Education took upon themselves to, to do, and we are, we are not in support of it at all. What happens now? At this point, the Board of Education is pledged to sit down and hammer out what the firm criteria is, the inclusion and exclusion criteria is for holidays to be added to the school calendar. Um, for the past couple of days, we've just been coming to terms with the decision because it was such a, a surprise to all of us. I don't think it, anybody was really expecting that this, it, the, the, the board was going to take this turn. Um, but at this point, we're probably going to work with, we aim to work with the Board of Education to make sure that whatever criteria they decide is fair to 
to all, all faiths and all groups. To all groups. Thanks for being with us today. Um, we do want to, um, you mentioned Zainab Dr. Starr. He has said he will not further comment on this, nor will the board. Um, but we're bringing you reaction from many sides of this issue. So coming up at 9 a.m., we'll talk with the executive director of the Jewish Community Relations Council for uh, just a more complete story. So thank you for joining us in the 7 o'clock hour. Stay with